Kanye has uh, made his way into the news again. This is the uh, first time in a while. It seems like almost every day he's doing something. And uh, this all sort of started this recent bout around his presidential run. And then he kind of calmed down for a little bit. And got divorced from Kim Kardashian. And then that just opened the floodgates. Uh, he got mad about Billie Eilish saying that she stops her concert for people who get injured and took it as a slight towards Travis Scott. And he said that he wouldn't perform at Coachella without her apology. Well, he didn't directly say that, but he more so implied it so that, like, she said that she didn't, she being Billie didn't want, uh, mean to diss anybody, and so yeah, uh, and that was just the more recent stuff, also, there was this whole debacle with, uh, the fact that his daughter ended up on TikTok and didn't want his daughter being on TikTok, now a while back there was a picture of Kanye, Kid Cudi, Timothy Chalamet, and Pete Davidson all together. Uh, the things ended up uh, where Kanye chose to take Kid Cudi off of the album Donda 2 because he was still friends with Pete Davidson, who's dating his ex wife now. That led to a lot of Instagram comments, a lot of hate sent towards each other. Is it seems really silly to me yeah, it's, it's like a middle school fight and then there's a uh, prod by Zach who uh, has been crowned this generation's greatest meat rider because of how he uh, will, won't just hit will just blindly support Kanye and if you don't know who this is which you don't because he made his, a name for himself basically by riding on con, riding off Kanye and all these all uh, capital Instagram rants he's gone on. But basically just comment like who's with Ye, I stand with Ye, I support Ye and stuff like that. But back to the, what's really important. Uh, he's gone on a lot of rants recently on Instagram where he's been calling Pete Davidson skeet, uh, which some people have been confused by, I think, I, I don't know what it's supposed to mean, I bet if I look it up, I can find it, but it's not, not too important, and he, uh, apparently sent, he being Pete, sent Kanye a, some sort of text or message or something, saying that, he didn't mean to attack him or anything, and he uh, just wanted to reach out and maybe meet his kids one day. Kanye posted a picture of Pete Davidson and Machine Gun Kelly uh, in their underwear trying to eat popcorn. Like, it, it's hard to explain. Uh, <laughs> but um, there's just a lot, of, a lot of crazy stuff going on. So Kanye came out. And posted a picture of him holding up a legal pad that said, I'm not getting hacked. It was something that could be faked, but nobody was sitting there thinking, Hey, uh, Kanye might be getting hacked. People were just like, oh, this is something he just does from George Bush doesn't like black people to the Taylor Swift incident to all sorts and types of things that he's done before. It seems like a thing that happens way too often for Kanye, and I don't know if it's a, well it is a mental thing, he is off his meds, and like Pete Davidson said way back, um, go back on him, it's okay to be on medicine, and I know it, the, it, it at least he says, it limits his creative process, but what's more important, you know, your relationship with your daughters, and I'm not talking about just now, I'm talking about 
in the future, which is something that Kanye doesn't seem to focus too much on when he's going on these rants that one day his children will see and wonder why the dad is acting a fool on Instagram for everybody to see. It's just an odd situation all around. I hope so he has somebody to reach out to because there's just is insane stuff. Until then, I'm Jackson Doorknob, and I'm closing the door on this video. Jeez, that's corny, but I'm going to use it again.